welcome back students in today's video we will check regarding the installation of the software package that we are going to use for part b experiment as told in the previous videos each and every video has to be hardwired and you have to check the output in the real time and you need to verify the truth table in fact you need to design it and you need to implement it after implementation you need to check the truth table in the hardware circuit after the hardware part has been complete we need to implement the same using the software package or we need to write a code corresponding to that particular circuit what you have written and you need to check the output output may be in terms of waveforms or it may be in terms of digital format so let's check out how it has to be done but before that we need to know the software what we are going to use and how to download the software and how to install the software the software what we have, we were using till date was zlink this was the software what we were using but the problem with the software is this zlink software is adaptable only to windows 7 systems you cannot install the zlink software to windows 10 systems as you people will all be having a laptop which is having windows 10 the zlink software will not be supported so what we have done is we have done with we are we will be doing this with one more new software which is called as model sim student version or you can call it as model sim so you need to download the software and so what you need to do is first of all you need to check for the software that is model sim student version and once you get it this is what it is so go here click on this once you click on this you will be getting download student edition so download it so download student edition you need to download it but before that what you need to do is you need to give your entire details because this is going to be a licensed one so you being students will be able to get one license each for one registered email id only using that particular function or using that license you can download or you can install this particular software so submit so you need to create an account here so there is a big license terms accept the agreement so Thank you for requesting model simp student edition you will receive an email with the file download location please allow up to 24 hours for your request to be processed so now let me go and check my inbox i'll go and check the inbox of the registered mail id so in the register mail id you would have received your mail from the sales underscore info at mentor.com open it up and it will give you a link to download the model sim p edition so download it once it is downloaded it has given the instructions here so here the instructions are given to you follow the instructions if you do not know how to install it so it says that please note that you must be logged in as an administrator after the file downloads completely click download on the exe file to begin the installation process you must agree to the mentor graphics and user license agreement after the installation has been completed select finish and a browser window will open with the license request form after that please note clicking on an existing license request from your browser bookmark or from a link posted on a web will not work complete the all of the form fields with with attention to email address field and submit the license request form 
once a request has been received the model simply student edition file license file will be generated matched to your host computer and will be emailed to you along with the license install instruction so these are all the things what has to be done Remember the license version whatever you are going to receive will be valid only for the system in which you have logged in. You cannot use that license by logging into other system using the same mail id. So it is actually a single user agreement. So I am done with the downloading process. So it is completed here. So once the download has been completed, you need to go to the exe file, open the exe file and start installing. Being a computer science student, I did not say how to install and all those things. So you will have the basic idea regarding how to install the things. So, yes. So once the file has been downloaded, you just need to copy this file from the destination and you need to paste it to the folder in which your model sim has been installed. So your model sim student edition has already been downloaded. So you can go and check it up in the folder. So this is where it is. So click on the exe file. So your package is unpacking. So let's wait until it gets installed completely. Once it is installed completely, you will get a shortcut on your desktop. And once the shortcut has been created, you need to fill up a license form. And the license will be sent to your mail ID, which you need to paste to the drive on which model sim will get installed it is getting installed in the c drive so let's wait until it gets installed it will take somewhere around uh, three to four minutes to get installed completely as there are a lot of inbuilt files to be unpacked and installed so let's wait until all the files get installed completely and properly don't make any hurry worry things make sure that it is getting installed completely if it is not getting installed completely or if the package is incompletely installed maybe when i'm using that particular package uh, there will be some of the options which will not be available or there will be some of the options which will not be functional so make sure it gets installed completely so let's wait until it's all done once it is done a pop-up window will be popping up saying that the installation has been completed and whether you want to have a shortcut on the desktop. See, it's installed and it's asking whether you want to have a shortcut on the desktop why not we'll have a shortcut on the desktop yeah yes so finish once it is finished a window will pop up asking your details in order to send the license so let me enter my details properly and hope that even you do the same but make sure a registered email id will get only one license and once you lose it you will not be able to get it again
So I'll fill up the details, whatever I know. See, this is what it says. Thank you for requesting your free model SIMP student edition license. A detailed image with license installation instruction will be sent to your email address. Please verify the email address list is above correct. If not, you will not receive your license. You will now you will then have to rerun the EXE and request another license. So it has been done. It's already done. So let's just go and check the inbox. Yeah, this is your license. You have got your license and uh, instructions are given. Enclose this your license key in order to complete the installation. You will need to carry out the final installation instruction, instructions detail below. Please note that license key will work on the host computer on which you ran the installation product. If it is transferred to any other computer, it doesn't work. Save the attached file with the name student license that to the top level installation directory for the model sim P edition. This is a directory that contains the subdirectory. Do not edit the file student license that in any way or it will not work. You should not be you should now be able to run the model sim instruction okay so this is where it is so let's download it the license whatever you are requested for would have come to your email id and you got to download it once you have downloaded it this is how it looks like student under, underscore license dot dat. So this is your license file. This file has to be copied into a folder which contains model sim. So your model sim is installed into the C drive. So you got to go to C drive and in the C drive, in the C drive, this is the folder what has been created for the model sim. So model tech underscore pe underscore edu underscore 10.4a. 10.4a is the version of the model sim of your student version. So this is where it is or this is a folder that has been created in the C drive by default. So what you got to do is you got to copy this license file you got to copy paste i mean copy it from here and you got to carry it to the c drive where your folder has been installed and open this particular folder and copy and i mean paste it to that particular folder so what i have done is i have pasted it to a folder that is by this particular name in the c drive so it has been pasted here so once it is pasted into that particular folder the license file will let your version to be licensed. Now what you can do is you can go to your desktop. So once you go to your desktop, you can see the shortcut that has been created previously. This has been created before you have actually installed or actually have requested for the license. Right now what you have done is you have obtained your license, you have downloaded that license and the license has been copied and it has been pasted to the folder that has been created by the model sim in your C drive. So once that particular license or .dat file has been copied and pasted, your license has been activated. Right now, you people can use this particular model sim in order to simulate the digital circuits. So what you need to do is you need to come to the desktop and you need to double click, double -click on this particular icon. Once you double click on this particular icon, 
you can see a very small window popping up uh, showing the model sim advanced simulation and debugging so this is this says that your software package is opening up so later once this has been done you can see your actual interface has opened up so this is the interface where you are actually going to simulate your digital circuits and get the required output 